Hello automators welcome to connexit training videos today in this tutorials i'll be showing you how you can actually connect or integrate google contacts inside connexit so basically i'm going to explain an use case so where whenever there is a new row created on google sheet automatically a contact has been created inside google contacts so i will show you how to do that and also one more quick thing about this uh, best thing about this use case is like you can also create bulk contacts if you are having a google sheet connected for both of the things you just need one connects to build and you know follow this workflow so what you all waiting for let's get started to see how automatically we can update the contacts on google contacts so for this you have to log in to connect it and under apps page you have to search for google contacts so basically you have to authorize this apps that is google sheets and google contacts before creating a workflow in the apps page so just search for the apps and click on the app click on add account this will redirect you to google accounts page so where you have to give permission for connexit to access your account you can choose your account and then click on allow for connect it to access your google contacts account so i already authorized that so this is how you can authorize google contacts inside connect it so now i will going to show you how to build a workflow uh, using this cmc for this you have to click on create connects and name my connects as google sheets to new google contact and then select the trigger as google sheet so basically for google sheet trigger you have to follow certain steps to create a trigger i will show you what how to do that basically you have to create or add a trigger manually for this select your account select so the uh, trigger as new row in sheet and select your google sheet basically so i'll just selected my sheet and it on test and review and then click on proceed so a new pop up will going to open where you have to add the trigger manually so for this you have to just do the few steps this is the one time process so once we open the pop up so you have to choose your account so which account your sheet belongs to and then click on add trigger that's it so once you click on add trigger a pop up will up appear so where you have to click on on change the event type and notify me immediately for notification settings and click on save so once you did that it will ask you for permission again so don't worry about the warning so it is just creating inside your app scripts page itself and just click on allow so once you click on allow automatically a trigger will be added inside your app script that is inside your google sheet account so you can close that and come back to connect it a new row will be fetched from your google sheet so basically this is my google sheet and the first row will be get fetched over here so now let's go ahead and just drag and drop google contacts search for google contacts here and then drag and drop google contacts so basically connects it support all these actions inside google contacts you can create a contact or you can search contacts basically if you want to you know add it uh, or update a contacts you can do the search and get if it is uh, added if it is already present then you know you can just leave it as it is or if it is not present then you can add it right now i'm just directly creating a contact and you can also add contact to the group and remove contact from the group so now i will be creating a contact so just need to add my name i'll be adding the name and adding an email to the email field and also if at all you have any company name so you can do that and the phone number basically 
so just add it to the phone number so you have all all these other options also present if you have data so you can do that right now i have only four data so i just added all these data to contacts and then click on test and review so this will going to automatically create a contacts inside your google contacts so now let's test this check this google contacts so now let's search for eric in my google contacts just go here and search for eric so we will be get those details with the email id and the phone number which we added right now so now let's go ahead and publish our connects so once we publish our connects any new contacts which has been added inside my google sheet automatically any row created on my google sheet automatically create a contact inside google sheet, uh, google contact so now let's go to google sheet again and create a contacts so this time i will just add it as john connect and then as john dot to at gmail dot com connect mm, phone number as just leave it like this so once we added this trigger automatically a new contacts will be created inside google contacts so now based on our connect so our connect does look like this so it is basically a simple connection from google sheet to google contacts so now let's go to contacts again and search for john so you can see that so john connect has been created and also the phone number has been added so make sure you select those things so automatically you know like the company name and all those details has been added inside so you can add contacts from your google sheet trigger to google contacts so let me know if you have any doubts on this particular integration do drop on the comment section below thanks for watching this video guys have a great day